Hey guys, I'm still in my trip, so my videos are not that regular. Basically, I didn't make a video for a few days. I apologize for that. I will return soon back home and I will continue to do them on a regular basis. So far, let me make a quick update on what is happening in the market. And I have two news for you. First is that we had this drop yesterday, mainly because of this news, Bitfinex covered $850 million loss using Tether funds as was alleged by the New York Attorney General's office. And as soon as this whole situation with Tether was quite unclear for a long time, so people got scared that it will be found that Tether is not covered by dollars and so on and so forth, so some panic on the market happened. But the good news is that even at this situation, this panic sell, the price actually didn't drop too much. So basically we hold like $5,000 and it is surprising that actually this drop was stopped just at the zero level of this pitchfork which we looked at before and in fact this long growth didn't have a reasonable correction so far so we may say that this was actually not bad at all we still have this golden cross of 50 and 200 days moving averages and technically the picture is still not not bad at all it's it's still promising and as soon as we didn't fall to this territory the negative part of this pitch, pitchfork it seems like we are still um, aiming to the new highs, at least in the longer time scale. And we did bounce off this territory like $5,600, where it was like a lot of the volume before, so it's it's reasonable to expect that we had it. And you see, we have just surprisingly ni nice match of what happens with the price and what is basically happened from the new side. And another thing is that we have a huge drop of altcoins, so you see the Bitcoin dominance rose quite a bit, like almost 3-4%, but I would take it as more positive thing for the future price action because the altcoins actually had a bigger correction than Bitcoin and usually they stop falling in at a certain level and as soon as Bitcoin will go sideways they will recover, we have new like double digit gains on the altcoins they will return to the previous positions it happened many times before in this area so we probably will have the very same picture around here unless of course bitcoin will not go down so just let's let's uh, look at how price will react with the levels of support and resistance and moving averages so still in my opinion not financial advice as usual it's more likely that from this this point we will not have a massive correction probably we'll have a sideways and then we'll test again the top of this channel at some point another point which i was going to show you is that on the logarithmic chart you may draw a channel started from 2015 accumulation zone and then the top of this channel was tested several times by the price as well as the bottom of this channel and recently the price was exactly at this channel again but at the same area you may draw the descending channel from the previous high and actually the intersection of this channel was exactly at the point where the price made a strong surge upwards so it seems like the market made its decision and as soon as we are still in the same channel the situation looks pretty much bullish and also in addition to the fact that we may use these lines as the guides to the highest points and like the correction which would be following these points and also the lowest price zones for pullbacks for the corrections like for example if we'll have a correction from that point we may see the drop up to four thousand two hundred four thousand three hundred dollars but if the price will go lower then it will mean that the whole channel will be, will be broken which is first very unlikely and second this major trend which is very strong right now will be broken so it is a very low chance for this to happen but on the other hand if the price will go above this trend line like here then it would mean that the new exuberance phase the new FOMO phase is started and we will probably see some increased accelerated speed of the rise of the price in the near future so i guess that it's very important to look at these major trends for better understanding what is happening with the market right now and meanwhile there's a huge debate between most well-known people in the crypto industry like analysts uh, as Tone Weiss, Tyler Jenks, uh, Villivu, uh, Vincent Kelsen, Murad Mahmudov, Tour de Mester, David Puel and Leah Wold and they all discussed whether the Bitcoin price bottomed in December or we have the chance to have a new low. This discussion lasted for more than five hours 
and they covered a lot of the details about the fundamental analysis, technical analysis, like sentiment in the mar market, and really tons of the data. And actually, a lot of that we already covered on my channel as well, especially the new studies from the on-chain research data from Rod Mahmoudov and David Buell and Vili Vu, of course. But still a very nice summary and uh, please go ahead and watch it. Of course, it's very long, but you know, it's, it's a really, really nice comprehensive discussion about what is actually happening and what to expect in the near future. What I didn't cover so far is this chart from Vili Vu and he showed this distribution of the volume or volume profile on the previous low uh, in 2015 and the low in December 2018 and here you see the volume in green area it happened before the previous high and the red volume is between the high and the low so first of all you'd see that basically this volume is very close to the to this vol volume and somewhere around $100 there's a huge support area so it's very unlikely that the price could break that so in that way like the price stopped at $100 sixty dollars or something and very similar thing in 2018th and 19th uh, this volume before the rise to the all-time high had a very strong support area at around 2800 and below of course so it would be really really hard for the price to going lower than that and also the volume at this sell area is already quite huge to expect that it may increase even more so Vilivo was making a point that it is very unlikely that we will break below 3000 once again and the bull market is already happening. Moreover, after the stream they made this conclusion on how many percent they would give for the bull market is already happening or like the bottom is already in and among the bulls Murat Mahmudov gave it to 75%, David Buell 80% and Villivu himself 95% it's really really huge and among the bears tone base is actually not that bearish anymore so he say like 40% to the fact that we already passed the bottom and Vensen gave 39 so basically the same and again interestingly enough Tyler Jenks 20% and just one month ago or something he was saying that it's 99% chance that we'll see $1,000 for Bitcoin in, in the near future or at least like during this bear market. So you see that the biggest analysts in the field are seemingly going to the bull territory more and more. So and this pretty much reflects the general sentiment in the market. So we can hope that, yeah, indeed, the analysis of Bitcoin price in many aspects starting to say that we are going to the new bull market all right guys that is it for today i hope it was useful thank you for watching